So here we go with Hashem's help with the second week that we are dealing with the Midah of Haritzut. We said that Be'ezrat Hashem in the month of Kislev we're going to try to focus on that third Midah in the list of Rabbi Israel Salanter to improve ourselves and get as close as we can to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we explained last week that the Midah of Haritzut is the idea of Zerizut but on the inside, which means it's not just about the external element of the mitzvah, but most importantly, the way that we do the mitzvah ourselves, inside of us. And we explain the importance of paying attention to details, to do it with depth, with attention. And the Ezrat Hashem in today's derasha, we're going to try to focus on the parasha of this week that is giving us such an important information about this very midah of Haritzut. So I would like to start with the main character of this week's parasha, Yaakov Avinu, that is displayed so far in the Torah by a man that is not a man of action. He's a man who is just Yoshev Ohalim, according to the Pesukim, he's sitting in the tent, and I know that it means that he is Osek Velomed Torah, obviously, this is something incredible, but we may have an impression that he is the one who's listening to his mother. He's not really the one who's pushing himself to go forward and to act, and everything is going to change in Parashat Vayetze. Yaakov Avinu is going to deal with Lavan for 20 years. Lavan who's a crook, Lavan who is known to be a dangerous man as well. But it all starts with a vision, with a prophecy. Yaakov Avinu gets to the spot of Hara Moriah. And the beginning of the parasha tells us that he prays Arbit, Vayifgaba Makom, and then he falls asleep, according to Rashi, after 14 years. And what happens during his sleep? A nevua, a prophecy. And Yaakov Avinu dreams. Vayahalom, the Torah is using the word halom. He dreams. And maybe if we make just like a pause at that moment, we can think, you know, maybe Yaakov Avinu is indeed that dreamer. Maybe he seems to be so passive because he is disconnected from the world. He is Yoshevo Halim, so he's in a different level. He's on a different sphere and maybe he doesn't realize what's really happening around him. So Yaakov Avinu is that dreamer. But Hashem tells him, you're the one that I choose. You're the one who will continue the legacy of Abraham, Yitzhak, with Yaakov. And you are the one who will also see the promise of Eret Israel, of Zera Israel, of having a tremendous descendant. And we know that Yaakov Avinu at this point really is that candidate who will be seeing the children of Israel. He will have the Shivte Yaha, 12 children, not two children, 12 children. So he becomes a family man, very involved. And at the same time, Yaakov Avinu is also a businessman. And we go into the details of how exactly he did business with Lavan. And he knows how to do business because, indeed, he is very successful. He becomes very wealthy in the house of Lavan, even by a crook. Now, we could say it's Yata Dishmaya, and it's always Yata Dishmaya. But it looks like he's doing the right Ishtadlut. He's not the Yoshev or Halim anymore. He is someone else. He becomes a man of action. He becomes a family man. He becomes a man of interaction as well because he deals with Malachim, he deals with Lavan. And again, in the end of the parasha, he will meet with the Malachim and send them next week in Parashat Vayishlah to Isaf. So he becomes a powerful man. And at that moment, we realize that Yaakov Avinu is definitely not the same person than the person he was before. And what stands between those two impressions? A dream with the latter. What is the message of the Torah? What is the Torah trying to tell us over here? You know, many times we can be mistaken about ourselves and about others. That person is not qualified. That person is not a man of action. That person is a dreamer. That person is not really connected to the world around him. And it may be a mistake. But we may realize that only once we realize who that person truly is. And the Torah decides to introduce us to Yaakov Avinu as Behira Avot, the most successful of the Avot, by far. 
as a dreamer. You know why? Because there is by Yaakov Avinu something so special and so unique. You know what a dreamer is? A dreamer is someone who goes at night and processes the whole day in his head. But not just in his head, but also in his heart. He becomes something that is part of himself. The events, the experience, the encounters that he has throughout the day or throughout his life in general are really penetrating him very deeply. A dreamer is a very deep person. He's a person that has the midah of haritzut. But most importantly, he's a person with emotions. He's a person who feels. And we're going to see in the parasha that it's all about emotions. The emotions are on the edge. Yaakov Avinu sees Rachel. He cries. Crying is the manifestation of very deep emotions. And then finally, in the end of the parasha, when he interacts with Lavan and he's extremely frustrated when Lavan is threatening him to take everything away. Yaakov Avinu explodes. Yaakov Avinu shows emotions. Yaakov Avinu is a man that is so alive. And the dreamer becomes a man of action and a man of success because he is able to be in tune with his emotions and to bring them back into the real world. This is the real definition of the Eved Hashem. This is the way that we reach the Midah of Haritzut. We spoke about details. We spoke about paying attention. We spoke about depth. And emotions is what Rabbi Israel Salante also means. If you look at the definition of the Haritzut, he talks about Shkida, to do it continuously. And he talks about Regesh, the importance to have those emotions, to live the Torah that we do, to feel the mitzvot that we perform, to not just do it as a routine, to not just do them because people expect us to do it, but to really feel them, to really bring them inside of us to internalize all the mitzvot that we do and to give them true value it changes the entire game and that is the gap that Yaakov Avinu is really going through from Parashat Toledo to Parashat Vayetze Vayetze comes from the word Latzet he comes out of himself there are emotions that are really coming out and he is able not just to relate and to connect with other people, but to truly build something that is netzach, that is eternal. Why? Staying in tune with his emotion. The dreamer becomes a man of action because he, he took those emotions and he made them reality. He made them lemase. That is definitely the idea of the Midah of Haritzut that we should work on, we should reflect on and always be aware that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us a Torah, a book of laws, not just for us to be robots and do them and follow them, but to feel them, to internalize them, to bring that joy, to bring emotion, to bring tears in what we do, to truly feel how we can change through those mitzvot and truly connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the people around us in the best possible way. Shabbat Shalom and Morach.